Right, it's a good hour, nearly two hours since I left home. I'm on the Roman road. I walked from near Tropicana, obviously, near where I live, all the way to uphill, through the village uphill, past the hospital, well, not past part of the hospital. Then I went up to the main road, crossed over, went towards, but I didn't go to Bleeden. I carried on up to join this Roman road. And I'm at a point now which I want to make a note of, of this gate. Because this gate is right opposite Hutton Wood there. There's a possible way for me to, when there's no cows, to have uh, done a bit of wood walk, then either come and use this gate to get in and out. And it ain't locked. Oh, it is locked, but you can climb over it. There might be another gate further up. But at least I know a gate is here and it's not covered in barbed wire. Right, with well, the weather forecast, I know I'm out early. I think they did say it might be a bit cloudy and windy in the beginning. But it's supposed to drop that east wind. Well, at the moment, this is the first time I've put my shorts on. A light jumper, windshield, and I have got a summer hat. Not on at the moment. And I'm glad I've brought my scarf, put it that way. I'm glad I brought my scarf. Because um, that wind's quite blowy. I know I've done a hell of a bit of hill. But coming out of um, Western, out of uphill, it is literally uphill. Believe me. And uh, it really gives my lungs a good working over. Which they probably needed, by the way. They probably need a good old working. Get the rib cage working. Anyway, I've noticed loads of bluebells and other flowers lying in the side of the little Roman road. So far, only four vehicles have passed me. Now, whether that's due to the lockdown and no children having to go to school, no parents working, people getting up later, so they're not out on the road yet. That's one of the reasons I left early. One of the reasons I decided to leave by seven, not only it's a long way because I'm supposed to be going to Crook's Peak and back today, that's plan A. So far I'm on target for it. And uh, I wanted to do the, the main hike to Crook's Peak before the heat because they said it was going to be up to 25 degrees today. Well, I don't reckon it is. I would say it's more like about 15, 16, 17. There's a um, there's low cloud um, and there's a breeze. It's, a, it's not... It's quite... It's about 15. They said it was going to be 6. That's why I chose today. Maybe it will ease up for on the way home because basically at the moment if I didn't keep moving I'd be cold I'd be cold now right now here's a place where people pull in there was a camper van here for ages I wonder if it's still there no it's gone now you can see it from the wood when I was walking through Hutton Wood on several occasions I noticed the the camper van, whether it was on the grass or whether it got smashed up. Looks like there's been something smashed here, look. That looks like out of a camper van, doesn't it? With that little sink. I reckon it got smashed up, you know. Maybe it had been abandoned. Maybe it had been abandoned. Anyway, there's my wood over there. Oh God, look at this rubbish here. Look at this rubbish abandoned by that camper van. Anyway, there's a gate over there. I'd noticed that gate before near the wood. But there's also a way in over there for me from that gate back there. Yeah, it's funny I noticed that camper van smash. I reckon it got smashed up and then got towed away. Got bits of piece people's stuff. It's all for that. Somebody must have smashed it up in the night. <sighs> Little kettle there, look. Sleeping bag. 
bedding. Yeah, it's been smashed up. Now it wasn't. It was only just over a week ago. I was walking through the wood. I spotted the camper van. But it looks like it's been smashed up. The sink pulled out of it and everything. Oh, it just shows you can't leave anything, can you? Look, and someone's left some flowers. They must have been quite upset when they put them there. It's not very nice. That was somebody's little home. If it got deliberately vandalised. Anyway, what I'm looking for now is there is the, if there's another gate nearer the turning, which is the bridle path. Oh, I expect a bloody farmer came along, smashed that up. Yeah, I can see my bridle path already. That might be the only gate down there. I think that's my bridle path down the bottom there. But there might be a gate on the side. I'm just, I like to have alternatives. For example, if I come back through that bridle way later, I might think, oh, nip through the wood. You know. Because I won't be going down in the valley, I don't think, because of the worry of cows um, over that way later. Now, it's cow season, you see now. It's cow season. Anyway, I've got a packed lunch. I've got um, cheese and tomato, various types of crisps, hoops, um, fruit bars, Galaxy, Kit Kat, oranges. I hope I put the oranges in. Um, I hope I did. I think I definitely put one in. I normally always carry oranges. I've also got, don't feel so heavy now, I've, I've also got three bags of, three bottles of spring water. I, 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 well, the fizzy does upset me in some ways, but it also refreshes. And uh, I've got a brand new rucksack. The other one's it gone. This one cost me 25 quid from Holford's, but the thing is, it's it's really for bikers carrying water. Yeah, there's a gate down there somewhere. I'm just going to stop here on this uh, log a minute because there's somebody coming up the hill. Just want to see where they go first. <sighs> yeah, so I bought an app to buy another rucksack. The other one, the main zip had gone. But um, this is mainly for bikers, so when they carry their water. <sighs> but it's due for me for now, anyway, because there's nothing open because of the lockdown. Um, the mountain shop is shut. And um, all right, I'm just going to turn off now. Right, I've, now I walked through here less than two weeks ago, I reckon it was. It could be two weeks ago actually now. Time goes very fast. When I was going to do the plantation. Now I haven't put any of that lot on the... Um, I haven't done WMV, I haven't put it on YouTube, none of that's been put on yet. I've got such a load of stuff. I've got loads of stuff. I haven't done WMV on. I haven't put it on YouTube. Loads and loads of stuff. But it's mainly of um, personal, private reflections that I don't make public. And I have to edit heavily if I have to put them on YouTube or Facebook. They have to be edited. Um, I, well, I might have a bit, I might do it in the winter if this lockdown continues. Um, so I'm not going to do a lot going along here because there's still not many plants out or anything. Um, this is a little bridal path. Now this is colder than what I was expecting. I haven't actually dressed for it being very windy. Um, I've dressed for it being a hot day and, um, and it's not. Already I'm feeling a bit chilly. I've brought no gloves. I've got summer clothes on. 
and the moment I stop I start getting cold so I'm hoping this awful it said it was going to be cloudy but I didn't think it was going to be cloudy this early I thought we were going to get a bit more sunshine I know it was going to be cloudy a bit but it wasn't supposed to be windy which means it'll be quite nippy on Crook's Peak if there's a wind, that's why I don't go up there I don't bother going up Crook's Peak if it's windy and to me, it looks windy so if I go up there, it'll be a very brief visit at the moment, that's, that is a cold wind you know I've been walking for an hour and a half and I haven't really, I've got colder rather than um, getting heated up so I'm a bit annoyed really I'm a bit annoyed really <sighs> anyway it's a beautiful countryside but because of this low cloud um, situation it's um it's not showing, it's not very good for photography today at all. Now this is a big thing for me to do the crook speaking back. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done it very often, not the whole thing there and back, no. Uh, I don't, I think I might have only done it once, probably about 10, 12 years ago. I often used to get the bus to Winscombe, go to Crook's Peak and then walk back. I'm not doing it both ways. Right, I'm just going to tuck my t-shirt and jumper in my shorts. I got, I'm dressed for the summer. Because of the forecast was so intent on being a hot day today. Over that.